Hey guys, it's Eve here. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about something really important that uh, we've been struggling with lately. This video is about A2P DLC registration, and I'm going to talk about everything related to it. Most importantly, I'm going to talk about how to get verified and not get uh, rejected for A2P compliance registration. So make sure you watch the full video, but let me actually describe why you need it, how much you need to spend, what happens uh, when you don't register for a A2P. So make sure you subscribe and actually let's get started now. A2P 10 DLC registration is actually a requirement if you are in the US or if you have a go high level account and have clients in the US that you're selling it to. So it's just a US thing. Basically, what A2P means is application to person. So if you have an application here and you're sending SMS from that application to people, which means your prospects, leads, your clients, even only then you need this registration. Basically, this helps you from, you know, getting blocked by the US carriers, which is T-Mobile, uh, AT&T and all those. So that's why we need A2P registration in simple terms. I'm not going to give you extra, uh, extra large answers, but this is what you need to know for now. And how much you need to spend for A2P registration is also a really important question. So if I come down here in this pricing, uh, pricing article by high level. I'm actually going to link this uh, article in the description so you can see for yourself. For A2P, there are actually two things you need to pay for. You don't have to actually know what they are, but I'm just going to tell you in brief. You have to pay for the brand and you have to pay for the campaign. That's all you need to know. And I'm going to also show you how you can complete this entire process so you don't need to worry. So I'll just tell you how much you need to spend for the brand. You need to spend about like $4.41. That's a one time fee. So don't get confused. That's a one time fee for the brand registration. Secondly, for the campaign, you need to spend this amount. So that's per month. That's a recurring amount. So it actually depends on, you know, which one you're going after. So I'm going to give you the explanation while I'm registering for this process and showing you how to do it. Also, one more important thing to understand here is what you need in, uh, as a requirement to get A2P compliant. You need a legit business. So you need a business name, which uh, will be registered business in the United States. You need a, a email address, business address, business phone number. And most importantly, you need a verification process, which which includes the EIN number, employer uh, identification number. So make sure you, you get an LLC that will help you with the EIN stuff. So once you get business name, address, email, phone number and EIN, then you'll be eligible, uh, eligible to register for A2P. That's all you need to know. So we've gone through uh, what it is, how much you need to spend and what you need to have. Now we are going to go to a different screen where I'll actually walk you through the entire process of A2P registration. All right, guys, so I am inside a client's account right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to phone numbers and I'm going to walk you through the entire process of A2P uh, compliance registration from go high level. So as you can see over here, the A2P uh, registration status says failed because maybe the client tried it once, maybe the client never tried but I'm going to do it right now for the client and I'm going to get it verified. But first we need to, uh, we need to go to business profile. What we need to do is we need to actually fill it up with all the information required, right? So this box over here, this box over here, uh, general information, business information, business, physical address, authorized rep. So these four boxes need to be fulfilled and completed in order to start the A2P verification because these are all the information they need and make sure they're authentic. So I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to be back and we can start the verification process. So all done on this end. Now we need to go to phone numbers. Then we will start uh, registering for A2P from here. As you can see, it's asking for brand registration and campaign registration, which uh, hasn't been done. So I'm going to start registering now. And is the business entity registering? Yeah, US. Uh, yes, the business I'm registering has a tax ID. Okay. And as you can see, all the stuff I've put in business profile, it's uh, picking up from there. 
so I'm just gonna hit keep hitting continue and now it's gonna ask me for low volume standard or high volume standard I'm gonna do low volume because this is a local business and uh, 6,000 segments per day is um, is okay for us so I'm gonna say I acknowledge and now it's gonna ask me about campaign use case so I'm gonna say low volume recommended okay here it's asking for the use case so this is the most important part and this is the this is the reason why most of the verifications get rejected because uh, a lot of people actually go for lead generation they say that we are generating leads through paid ads and they're putting consent and whatever these actually don't work when they say lead generation they actually immediately reject the campaign so instead what you're gonna do is you're gonna say come over here you can just copy this first one and paste it up here so this campaign sends appointment information confirmation reminder messages to customers once they have booked appointment with company name so I'm gonna say the company name will be replaced up to the receive promotional from again okay should be enough don't go for lead generation again just go for appointment confirmation reminder sample message just uh, come over here and uh, just put it here I maybe just go mark um, from energy appointment for please reach out to the number you know just change the number and uh, so this is a uh, also I've copied from here the example and I'm gonna go for continue and here <clears throat> what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the calendar link so I'm gonna go to the calendar so I'm inside the calendar and I need to go to settings I need to go to forms and payment and here make sure the consent box is on so in the form they will see the consent box and the checkbox will be a uh, requirement in order to book the appointment for the people so uh, I confirm that I want to receive content from this company using any contact information I provide so make sure this is up and when you're done just do a test yourself so I'm gonna share copy the permanent link and over here I need to come over the calendar and pick a date and time and just see if this one is on when you're done just go back to the previous screen and just copy it and paste it just like the other one and copy it copy the calendar link and paste it if you have a funnel where there's a calendar that's fine too but I'm just putting the link here and you can also get rid of this one start subscribe you have successfully opt-in so I'm, I'm just gonna copy this again successfully opted in please stop okay that's fine and now if you submit it's gonna go for uh, it's gonna go for uh, registration so I, I think I've made some mistake with the EIN number format so I need to fix that up and I need to come over here and hit submit that should take care of this A2P verification process and again make sure you're not going for lead generation just go for appointment confirmation and that's how you can get your campaign ver verified usually it takes like seven to ten days but uh, sometimes if there are a lot of requests it may take longer maybe 12 days or 13 days but don't worry if you do it in this format chances are it will get verified so hope this video helped you understand a2p stuff and also uh, the tips hope it helps uh, get your campaigns verified and I'll see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.